Today I figured because I'm so excited about Christmas that we will do a Christmas haul of all of the new things I bought this year to decorate the house. I may have went a little overboard. Oops. I got my Christmas jammies on, the matching pants, and of course my slippers. And I don't have a hot chai or a hot anything because I'm in Florida and it's about 80, de 80 degrees right now and my straw just fell out of my cup. Oops. But I've got my Christmas mug with my iced vanilla chai and it says believe in the magic of Christmas. This mug is from last year. It's from, normally I don't take the tags off, but I think it's from like Home Goods or TJ Maxx or something. Max is outside, so I will be like looking over there a little bit just to make sure he's not doing anything wrong. Um, so I think I'll just keep this in front of me. There's not going to be a really specific order. I'm just gonna kind of grab stuff and show you guys and let you know where it's from. I'm not gonna give prices because I just feel like that's gonna take too long. And so I just am gonna like run through everything, show you where it's from. Um, and then that's kind of what we're gonna do. Um, I have stuff from Michael's, Kirkland's, Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby was awesome. They were all like 50% off when I went in there. I think I have a few things from Walmart too, and then like Home Goods, CJ Maxx, Marshalls, all those places as well. Um, I have, I did buy a few new ornaments, but I, when I bought all of this, I already had put it away because I've had it for probably like two weeks now, minus a few things. I just bought a few things very recently, like this morning. But um, most of it was from like a week or two ago, so I already put it away in the Christmas bins, and I don't remember where I put everything so I think this is all the bigger stuff um, but like the ornaments and everything are put away in the ornament bins and I don't feel like digging them back out again so those you'll see in my um, decorate with me that I film I think tomorrow actually because decorating we're really excited to decorate so we are going to decorate tomorrow I think um, so yeah let's just hop on into it all right, first things first, I'm gonna zoom you guys in. That's first things first. It is just Max and I home right now, so he will be making a little appearance. Right, 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 right. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is this little Christmas mug. Um, It's got Max on it, how freaking cute is that? That's the only reason I bought it to be quite honest, because I have a million and 17 mugs. Um, Um, but the little weenie dog wraps all the way around the freaking cup. And then it's got a little weenie dog on the inside of the mug. He's so cute. And I just love coffee and hot chocolate and tea and all those hot drinks that you put in mugs. So, I mean, really, it's fine. I could use another one. And I got it from Home Goods, I believe. Next is this little kitchen Santa. So normally we just decorate the living room um, because, I mean, it takes a lot to build up your Christmas decor collection. So living room was mainly where it is, but this year I knew I wanted to decorate a little bit into the kitchen and a little bit into the bathrooms maybe. So I'd seen one of these last year on clearance at, I don't know, JCPenney or something. It was a little bit bigger. Um, and I loved it and I didn't get it right away and then I went back like a week later and it was gone and I cried for a week and it was awful. So I saw this little guy at TJ Maxx and I just think he's so cute. I wanted one so bad and he was just precious. And so this is my little kitchen Santa. And then I decided that I wanted to take down kind of my like year round wall hangings and like pictures and all that stuff and put up like Christmassy ones so I'm gonna slowly start kind of building that collection too as I go so that it's like really decked out for Christmas I'm a psycho when it comes to Christmas just in case anyone's wondering I'm literally Mrs. Christmas like I love it it's what November 
it's November 5th. We have Thanksgiving, which is my favorite holiday of all time. I love Thanksgiving. I love hosting Thanksgiving, everything. But fall decor is just not my thing. So I like to host Thanksgiving and have my Christmas decorations out already, which I don't see anything wrong with. Um, and my birthday is before Christmas and after Thanksgiving. So you would think I'd be really excited about that. Nope, nope, we just focus on Christmas. Okay, okay. Um, this little guy is from Home, I think he's from Home Goods, and it's like tin, and it's like bendy and stuff. Not that I'm gonna bend it, but it's, <laughs> I don't know why I told you that. But he's really cute, he's a little snowman, and he's got like glitter, I don't know if you can like tell. I'll try to put it on the light box maybe, and it'll show you, no. Um, Maybe not, but he's just really cute. He's got a little bow tie and a little Christmas hat, and I just thought he was really freaking adorable. And from Hobby Lobby, I have these little presents. I like to put out gifts early for Christmas, and nobody else in my family or my house does, so I lose that battle, which is fine because my cat likes to eat the ribbons and the bows and stuff, so it's better that I don't put them out. And now that we have Max, it's his first Christmas, so I'm a little nervous, like, if he's going to eat all my decorations, if he's going to eat my tree. Um, if any of you have tips, actually, on how you went about getting your dog to not destroy all of your Christmas stuff, let a girl know down in the comments, because I'm, like, really scared, actually. Um, but because I can't put real gifts out early... I'm going to attempt to leave these out and put these out because it'll look really cute and homey um, and hope that Max doesn't eat them or Autumn because it can't be good for either of them. Autumn's the cat's name if you guys didn't know that. I've had her since she was like a year or so and I got her when I was 10 so she's that's 14 years almost 15 years I've had her so she's almost 16 actually which is so crazy she's like the love of my life she's the best little cat ever but these little gifts are really cute they're like the plaid material and i don't have like a theme in my house for christmas if you could like not tell from the like array of items behind me um but i just do a lot of just classic red and green and like some like vintagey or like rustic-y feels but then like also very glam so I'm kind of all over the place but the way we decorate it it looks really good and I'm probably biased but it looks amazing so it's okay um and they like jingle on them they're really cute and then next is this little church it's backwards, from Kirkland's that I actually spilt chai on so I'm gonna have to wipe it off when I when that straw went flying it totally landed on the white snow of my church um, but this is the church. All my price tags and everything are still on everything. This is the church and it lights up, which is freaking awesome. And I'm just so excited. I think this is like absolutely gorgeous. And it's like got fake snow and glitter all over it and a few little pine cones. This is that more rustic decor that I was talking about. But it's like glittery, so it's kind of the best of both worlds. These are from Hobby Lobby. They're just wooden skis that you like hang on the wall. Oh, well. Um, but I just thought they were super, super cute. And because like we're from up north in New Hampshire and skiing's so big, like I grew up skiing. I don't ski anymore because I am miserable when I'm cold. So I don't ski very often anymore. But I just thought they were so freaking cute. And next, these little things. They're elf. Feet. Do you see this? But they like stick into something. I don't know what we're gonna do with them yet. We had seen Santa ones at first and wanted to like make, we have a, you'll see, but we have a wall that kind of sticks out a little bit like a chimney. So we wanted to make a chimney and have like Santa feet coming out of the chimney. But we forgot the Santa feet and we found these instead. So we're gonna do something fun with the elf feet. And I thought they were way cuter anyway. This isn't like a decoration, but I already bought some Christmas paper. I don't know if you can even like see cause it's really shiny, but it has weenie dogs on it and they're plaid. They're like, it's like a black weenie dog silhouette with green and red and like a 
tannish gray, um, like alternated down the wrapping paper. And I got two rolls of this. The other one's up in the bin. Um, and that's from Ross, actually. I was so excited. I would have probably got more than two, but that's all they had. So I didn't have a choice. Um, next, this is from Hobby Lobby. I don't know what we're going to do with it. I don't know what's going to be done with any of this, to be quite honest. But it's just this little snowflake, and it's really glam, and it's really pretty and sophisticated and classy. Um, and it also lights, oops, it also lights up. Got these two candle holders. Because I don't know why, but I'm like obsessed with candle holders at the moment. I could not tell you. But these suckers are huge. Like, I'm not going to be able to use just like those cute little big tall candles. Like, I'm going to need like some heavy duty candles for this business. But they're like a, they're silver, but they're like a, what's that, what's that called? They're like rustic -y silver, but they're pretty. I, that's not what I, the word I was looking for, but that's what we're going to go with. And I don't know if I mentioned it, but these are from Hobby Lobby. This little Christmas tree. It's not a hat at all, but it's a Christmas tree. And it's just like, it's plastic. And then just felt like wrapped around the plastic pretty much in like a cone shape. It's super, super simple. And it's um, like a velvety fabric. Um, but I just thought it was really pretty. And I like the silvers and the golds. And I like mixing them. And I bought a lot of silver this year. I think I had a lot of gold from last year, so I'm trying to like mix them more because I had like a lot of gold last year. I have a lot of silver now, so I'm hoping they like finally mesh together. But this little thing is super cute and it's actually a really decent size. Um, okay. I got this little lantern from Walmart and it actually just reminded me of home having like a moose on it. So I'm not going to lie, that's exactly why I bought it. Um, I'm not sure like how crazy I am about it just yet, but it was super, super cheap, which is really the only reason I was like, okay, I'll pick it up. But again, they only had one. I don't know what's the matter with these places. And so I really wanted two of these for what I wanted to do with them, but I'm going to have to figure something else out or just keep checking back. Um, to see if I can find like another one or stop at different Walmarts or something like that. They had this color, they had silver, they had red, they had like a bronze, um, but I didn't like that type of silver. It looked, it just looked like it was, I don't know, even how to describe, it just looked like it was old. Like not cute old, like just old. So I decided to go with the gold. Okay, these boots. They're freaking Santa boots. And they're from Home Goods. I think they're from Home Goods. Yeah, the receipt's right there. They're from Home Goods. Ooh, they echo. Anyway, sorry. I wanted these because we have two trees this year. We have a fake tree that I'm gonna put in the corner and like decorate like all like pretty and stuff. And then the next tree we're gonna have actually right where my camera is right now and it's gonna be a real tree because I actually only do real trees the fake tree was a gift so we're gonna decorate both but I'm gonna put these under the fake tree and it's just gonna be really cute because that's gonna be next to the wall that we're doing like the chimney look to I think so I'm really excited I wanted these so bad and I left them there and I came back and they were still there a week later so that's how you know if you leave something at home goods for a week and it's still there when you go back, it's meant for you. It's absolutely meant for you, so you need to buy it, okay? That is my inspirational talk of the day for you. Okay, I'm thirsty. And then I got this little ornament from Home Goods as well. And it's super, super cute. It's just Florida and it's um like decorated with little lights and stuff all over it it's really really freaking cute um it's like ceramic i got this set of jingle bell it says they're gift toppers i'm not using them as gift toppers um i have like an old rustic ladder that i put blankets on that are gonna have christmas blankets thinking i'll hang these on the wall next to it um these were from tj maxx um they're super cute they had this and then they had another set which was a different print um but there's two red and a white so i can alternate them on the wall so we'll see how that goes and these are from walmart let me tell you walmart has really stepped up their game 
like fashion, um, home stuff, their Christmas stuff. I'm honestly, I'm so shook. I don't like that word, but I am shook. They're like little Christmas um, Santas. And I just thought they were so freaking cute. And they were so freaking cheap. Um, again, though, these are the only ones. So I'm going to have to keep hunting. Just like I'm going to have to hunt for that lantern. All of the Lemmix. Um, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Village stuff is 50% off right now. And um, so these were 50% off. So I couldn't pass it up. Only because it's such a slow process. And when they're on sale is when I want to buy them. And I just thought this one was so perfect for me because it's like a it's a countdown tower clock so it's like the day is till christmas but that's not even why i wanted it i solely wanted it because it has like it's like for a like a train station or like a i think mainly for like a train station though because it has like new, it has paris on this side and then new york and then like the uh, degrees and like weather and stuff on it I don't know I just really loved it and it just reminded me of like travel and everything so it kind of like incorporated my two like biggest loves so I had to get it so I got these like iridescent clear balls I don't know if you can see that they're iridescent but they're really pretty um they're not just like regular matte clear um Christmas balls um and the there's six in here I think we're gonna invite some friends over and have like a little ornament making party and then I got a few just like regular the like more matte not iridescent but the more matte ish normal um christmas balls as well because everything not just their lemmix stuff are you kidding that is a bad boy that's not for you that's mummy's drink he could give a the care. water tower with santa on it the like that's the only time that didn't have a picture of it. So, wow, that was embarrassing. But um, the water tower, Lemmix, um, village piece as well. Having, like, a huge village is, like, my dream for Christmas. I'm really bizarre. But it's honestly, like, my dream. That's, like, my goal is to have a beautiful Christmas village that, like, uh, grows piece by piece by piece, like, every single year. I got these two, like, birch... Um ornaments they're like DIY ornaments kind of like the balls that I got but I don't know what I would do with these I haven't figured it out yet but I just thought they were really cute and they would add like a really rustic feel to the tree um because I have a lot of glam ornaments so I'm trying to like even it out a little bit so we'll see what I do with these this next thing is probably my favorite Oh, well, just kidding. Hold on. This is holding something up, so I'm going to show you guys this first. This is a little tree topper. We got it at Hobby Lobby for the second tree. Um, it was really hard to decide what to get because we needed something that would blend in with the tree, but also be really pretty because otherwise Max will sit there and just bark at it thinking it's like a toy or something. Like, we got like an angel or whatever. So, we needed something very simple but very cute. And it's like glittery and then this is like sweater material um and it's like made out of like twigs and stuff so it's really cute what i'm so excited about this was not in the plans i wasn't supposed to get this but okay he's really heavy it's santa in a rocking chair oh god santa in a rocking chair and he has his little feather pen and his little like naughty and nice list and I just, he still has like box stuff on him, but I thought he was so freaking adorable. And I love like big, like Christmas decorations. Like I like little knickknacky ones, but I love like good, nice, big Christmas decorations. Those are my, honestly, my favorite. Like I just love them. Um, so I'm so happy about him. And he's like really heavy duty. He's like... I don't even know I think he's ceramic but I don't I'm not entirely sure but I just know that he is like he's not a creepy looking Santa he's solid and it's just I love it I love it so much I'm so happy for it to be a part of my collection we got this sign at Kirkland's it's a sleigh and it actually lights up 
where all these little holes are. I don't know if you guys can see it. It just says let it snow. And then it has some jingle bells on the handle of the sleigh. Oh, this bag. So I have a bag in front of me and it's just like crafty things. I have garland, just plain garland to hang above my bar um, because I don't have anything that hangs there. And like pre-made garland with like the ornaments and everything is so expensive. Like some of them go for literally $139 and it's fake. So I get that it's going to last you like a really long time, but come on. So I bought plain garland and I'm just going to decorate it myself and do a little DIY. Um, so that's all that's in that bag. So I'll show you guys the garland once I do it and I'm, it's in the like decorate with me. But then we also got this little Santa. He's cutie. Also has a little naughty and nice list and a little Santa gift um, bag carrier on him. And he's like covered in glitter. That's just a little knick-knacky thing. Also, this Christmas blanket that is in the background, I got at Home Goods like two days ago. And same kind of thing, I think, with those boots. Like, I left it there, and I was like, I don't need this blanket. Like, I have a million blankets. Jalen, you don't need Christmas blankets. I needed Christmas blankets. And when I went back, actually the same day I bought the boots, um, they were both still there, and I was like, I need them. So I bought them. This little snowman is from Hobby Lobby. And he just lights up. These are little lights here and he lights up and he's just, I don't know, he's really cute. So we got him and he's actually a pretty decent sized snowman. I'm gonna try and give you guys like a full look at it. So this is a birdhouse and it's pretty tall and it's covered in snow and twigs and everything. Um, and some like, what are these, like holly berry things here. It's really, really pretty actually. And I don't know where it's going. We got these two bells. Oops. Oops. They're, they're really noisy. But we got these two big bells. Those are also from Hobby Lobby. They had three sizes. They had the big size, the medium size, and then they had a little one. I should have just gotten all three probably. Um, but they're just like rustic-y, red and green. So they kind of go along with, I guess, whatever you would call my theme. My red, green, rustic. But they have bows on them, so kind of glam theme. I don't know. Um, and then, okay, my very first Christmas purchase was probably my favorite because it had to do with weenie dogs. And um, a blanket too. So I was like, I couldn't leave it there. It was the only one. And it was like mid-October, so I was shocked it was even out, to be quite honest. I think it was a mistake. But I snagged it, and it has weenie dogs all dressed up for Christmas and like winter and stuff. And Max is over here pulling at it because he loves blankets. And thank you for that. He just knocked over so much stuff. Every time I come across something with weenies, I have to buy it. I have to. So a few ornaments that we bought... Last year I had this camera, it's wrapped right now, but I had this camera from Michaels and it's like that glass material and long story short, it broke. Very long story short. Actually, it's not a long story. My laundry shelf fell on top of me as I was like putting stuff away last year and my whole ornament bucket, like my loose ornament bucket fell and shattered like most of my ornaments and it was honestly, I cried again then for like a week, so... That sucked, but it's fine because I have a new one. And then I bought these little ski ornament. Michael carries the Lemex Village stuff, but they also carry like, I don't know, like the Tiny Treasures Village stuff too. So we bought like just a few houses because houses are super simple and I don't need to be spending like $40 on them because I just, I think that's really silly to be quite honest. So like this little house we just got, it was really cute. And then it's got a little snowman and it like lights up. And this other house that we got, it's just like a red little house and it has Sienna in the front. And I same thing, it's just super simple and it was way cheaper than the Lemmix houses. So that was probably one of our like smarter purchases to be quite honest. And that lights up as well. If village pieces don't light up, I don't want them. If any of you know where to get cheaper village stuff that lights up, um, let me know down in the comments because 
that's like probably the only thing I'll ever need to purchase now come like holiday time is um, like village stuff until I get a bigger house because I think this apartment is going to be like filled to capacity this year maybe. The only thing I think I'm going to start buying now is just village pieces. But we got just some little um, village people. It's like an elf with like the North Pole sign and like the gift bag thing and then just some other people some little like kids with school books and a little kid with a dog up top and then this one here is like a swing and it has a little dog sleeping on it and this set of four lanterns it lights up and then just some fencing. They had a few other types of fencing, but I like this one the best. And then these people with their arms filled with presents. Oh, it's a weenie dog wearing a sweater. Max honestly has so many Christmas sweaters. It's sickening, but I'm so excited. And I also got him, um, PJs. We have a tradition every year that, oh, sorry, guys, that um, on Christmas Eve we get Christmas pajamas that we wear on Christmas Day when we open gifts and everything. So now Max has his first pair of Christmas Eve tradition pajamas as his like gift to open on Christmas Eve. So I'm super excited for him, and they're really cute. So don't worry, you'll see plenty of pictures. I know you guys are seeing this, this train right here, and I know you've seen it this whole time. But I was saving it for last. Um, but we're pretty much done. So just before the train, um, we have this light up weenie dog. And it looks literally just like Max because Max is red and this weenie is red. And we saw it last year, but we didn't have Max last year. So we were like, well, we can't get that. Like, that's so silly. Like, maybe one day we have a weenie dog okay fast forward a month we got max and so we were kicking ourselves for not getting it when it was on sale last year but it wasn't expensive so it really wasn't a big deal but i'm so excited to have it now this thing is huge like look at it it's freaking ginormous okay so this little piece like comes out and it's like snowflakes and stars and stuff and it's like the steam from the train and it's like a silvery metallic -y, glitter thing and it lights up actually which is super duper cool um so i'm super excited about it i don't know where it's gonna go because it's literally just that ginormous and i just you would think my apartment's really big with everything I just showed you and then I didn't have any Christmas stuff but when you see the decorate with me you're gonna be like what is the matter with you honestly you that's really what you're gonna think um that's everything from our Christmas hauls I hope you guys enjoyed this video um give it a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe Max is saying goodbye to you guys um if you want more hauls and if you want me to do the decorate with me tomorrow while we decorate let me know and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks. Love you guys. Bye.